Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today, as you can probably tell by the title and what's in front of you, I'm going to be doing yet another collection update ready for June. Um, I'm currently filming this in May, so it's not really June yet, um, but hopefully this video will go out in about a week. And um, yeah, this is the uh, merchandise that I've got this month, basically. Um, yeah, I said in the last video that I wouldn't get as many targets, but I've ended up getting um, pretty much the same amount, um, a little bit less than before. But hey, I've found some good bargains over the last few weeks. So without further ado, let's get on with the first thing that we always got on with, which is the Doctor Who magazine. So I received this Doctor Who magazine a couple of days ago now, and I love it because it's all about season 24. The cover is excellent with, you know, my favourite Doctor, my favourite companion. Yeah, what's not to love here? So um, it briefly talks about season 24, which is coming up on Blu-ray, um, which hopefully I should be getting technically this month. So hopefully you should get an unboxing video of that as soon as it arrives. Um, I have pre-ordered it at and I'm very, very excited to delve into four amazing stories. Um, I will never stop going on about my love of season 24 because I really enjoy it. I think all four stories are very good. Um, but yeah, Doctor Magazine, I have read through it. It's very good. Um, I did read an article a on the way home from something, but I forgot what the article was. That's bad of me, isn't it? I'm just flicking through now. Ooh, I'm thinking it's about autographs or target books, but you've got um, a fact of fiction of the Ambassadors of Death, which is brilliant, which I finished watching a few weeks ago now, and it's very good. I love that story, to be honest. Um, yeah, this was what I read. Um, the, a little tribute to Frank Cox, who directed some of the earliest Doctor Who stories. So yeah, that's Doctor Who magazine. Very good issue. Would recommend. Moving on, we have our monthly Eagle Moss figure. Um, so I have got an Eagle Moss figure every month, just one, um, and you see them in every collection update. Uh, I've got one in January, one in February, one in March, one in April, and for May, I got the Draconian Prince, which is absolutely lovely. Um, this was about £8 on eBay with magazine and everything, and it came boxed, and it's so lovely. Um, I'll show you the figure first, so hopefully it focuses. I'll give it a little bit of a tap and then it should. There we go. Look at that. It's very beautiful. Um, very detailed as well. I mean, you know, Eagle Moss are very good at doing monsters. I'll give you a little spin there. And if we move it down, you can see that. So, yeah, it's a lovely figure. Um, much, much better detail than character options. It's just... A little bit smaller and as for the magazine itself it's again in pristine condition as per usual and you've got some lovely photos of John Pertwee which you might be able to see there sorry it's not focusing very well and yeah the Eagle Moss magazine is very good um, quite thin quite short but good so there you go you've got some flying lizards there hopefully I'll just try and make that focus there you go um, but yeah really good this is part 37 um, on the whole, lovely, and I'm very proud to own it. Moving on, we have some big finish, which I haven't got in a while actually, but these are two quite substantial releases. So we'll go for this one first. This is a bit of a random one, which was on eBay for about seven pounds. I'm sorry about the lighting. I'll try and um, angle it so it's not as um, noticeable. But yeah, got Hot House, which is a an Eighth Doctor adventure from 2009 I want to say and I got this one a few weeks ago now and I have listened to it and it's quite good um I, I think I, it is worth that um what am I trying to say gosh um it is worth a re-listen because it has been a while um well I say it's been a while it's been about 20 days um however I don't know if I was paying my full attention to it to be perfectly honest um but from what I remember it's very good the crinoid um it's all about sort of political um or uh, environmental message and you know it's global warming and saving the planet and stuff so if you're into that then this is a good story for you it's only 60 minutes as well so quite good and then we have this this was on amazon for about oh 19 pounds i want to say and this is the third doctor adventures volume five and yep it's so good um it's quite thick as well it's a couple of cds wide 
Um, I have listened to Prime Ward, and that is very good. It's definitely one of my favourite big finishes, just already saying that. Um, and I'm currently listening to The Screams of Ghosts. I'm halfway through it, and it's very good so far. Not as good as Prime Ward, um, but very good. Um, it's got Liz Shaw in it as well, not obviously played by Caroline John, um, but I believe it's played by her daughter. Um, but it's very good. Um, Liz meets Joe, Brigadier's in it, Benton's in it. Um, it's very Third Doctor-esque, so if you're into his era, this is definitely a brilliant box set for you. Couldn't recommend it enough, even though I've not finished half of it. Um, <laughs> but there you go, that's it for everything other than Target books. Now we are going on to Target books, which is definitely the highlight of doing these collection updates. So we're going to do them in order of chronological... Um, you know, when they aired and stuff. So let's begin in the William Hartnell era. And here you go. You've got the Dalek Invasion of Earth, which is a beautiful target book. I got this one for 5 a couple of weeks ago on eBay. Uh, lovely blue spline, spline, spine there. And there's the blurb if you want to read it. Um, but yeah, couldn't recommend this one enough. It's got a lovely cover. Um, I'm looking forward to giving it a read. I haven't actually read any of these um, because I purely have got them in the last um, month. So that's good. This one arrived on Thursday and it's currently Saturday as I'm filming this. So a couple of days ago. Um, absolute bargain. The smugglers. Now this one was always going to be a tricky one to hunt down in my target journey because it's quite rare. But I managed to get this one for about £8 on... What did I get it on? Amazon I believe. Yeah, definitely Amazon. Um, and it's got a lovely cover by Alistair Pearson, I believe. And I'm really excited to give this one a read. I believe it's the next Hartnell that I might read. Or maybe not. I'm not sure. But, hey, look at that cover. It's lovely. And it's a missing story as well, which is a bonus because it's a new way to experience that story. Next up, we have one of my favourites that I've got um, ever, really. This is quite a rare target book. No other members of Who Stuff have it. And that's saying quite something. Um, and it's from the Troughton era, season four. Can you get it? The Macra Terror. Absolutely beautiful. Um, so I got this one for £11 on eBay, which I think is a very good price. Um, it's got a lovely orange spine, even though it clashes with the pink um, on the cover. But it's just a bit of a mess, but it's a great mess. Um, there's the blurb if you want to read it. But yeah, really excited to read this one. This will be the next um, Troughton that I read. Um, purely because I love the story, and although it's all animated, it's a different way to experience the story, I suppose. So yeah, that, the Macro Terror, very, very pleased with this one. Moving on to the third Doctor era now, we have the Time Monster. Now, I got this one from fellow YouTuber Adam Martin, who was selling his entire Target book collection pretty much. Um, and he was selling them for brilliant prices, and I managed to get uh, three of his Target books, and this is the first one. So I paid a fiver for this, which is an absolute bargain, um, because it's quite a relatively difficult Target book to track down, but I love it. Um, it's one of my favourite Third Doctor stories ever, and this will be the next Third Doctor story that I read, hopefully. Um, and there's the blurb. But it's really good. It's in excellent condition as well. All of these books are in excellent condition. Um, so I'm really, really happy with that one. I was over the moon when it arrived. Um, also in the Third Doctor era now, um, a little one from Season 10. We've got Planet of the Daleks. Um, yeah, this is a brilliant target book as well. Um, quite a thin one, but it's got a nice red spine. There's the blurb. Um, this one was quite cheap. I got it for about £3.90 or some, three, four pounds something like that. Um, lovely cover good story and it completes season 10 as well on my target book form. Um, jumping over into the Tom era we have a couple from the key to time starting off with the Stones of Blood. Now this was also from Adam Martin um, and I got this one for about three four pounds I think it's four pounds actually in total and it's lovely. Um, it completed my key to time collection um, and might as well just bring out the next one as well which is the Androids of Tara which is the following story. Um, but yeah, both brilliant, both in excellent condition. There are the spines, there are the blurbs. Um, and yeah, I love the, both of the stories as well. I watched The Androids of Tara very recently, and it's very good. So I'm probably going to give uh, the target book a read soon. 
Moving on um, to the next season, season 17, and we have Destiny of the Daleks. Now I got this one for £4 um, and it completed season 17, so I couldn't really go wrong. Um, it's a very thin book, almost as thin as um, The Robots of Death, which I believe is my thinnest. Um, it's not in great condition, it is kind of falling out at the spine a little bit, so it's detached from the cover a tiny bit. You can sort of see there it's not in the best shape. but it's readable and that's good enough for me. It's a great story as well, so very pleased to have that. Next one, oh, this is an achievement. So I have now officially completed my Fifth Doctor Era Target Book collection. Um, thanks again to Adam Martin, Black Orchid, for a fiver, an absolute bargain in my opinion. Um, and now I have every Fifth Doctor story on Target form. So hopefully in my target book collection video arriving this summer maybe august or september um you'll see that for in, in its entirety but this book is in absolutely amazing condition for a fiver you can't go wrong and it has a lovely cover i mean look at that it's so creepy and it sums up the story really well and you know season 19 doesn't have the best covers uh, for targets um, such as earthshock and even season 20 as well and um, this one is an exception it's absolutely lovely um, so pleased to have it in the collection. I don't know if I've shown you the blurb, but there's the blurb if you want to give it a read. So we're almost there. We've got just two more to go, and these two are both very, um, very new in publication because they're the two new um, target book from the from the from the. What am I trying to say? They're two target books from the brand new range. There we go. And the first one is the TV movie, which I received a few weeks ago for. A fiver, I believe, exactly a fiver. Um, it's quite a chunky target book, actually, but I'm really excited to read this. I will be um, delving into it soon, um, but I'm really excited to give it a read. I do love the TV movie. It's been 25 years since it came out um, on, well, since the movie came out. Um, and 25 years later, we've got a novelisation of it. So very excited to give that a read. And then we have, finally, Dalek, which is... Is also from the new Target range, um, but I heard lots of good things about this book, and I felt like buying a Target very quickly. There weren't any bargains on eBay, so I just I went out and bit bullet and bought Dalek, which was also for a fiver, I believe, and it arrived the next day. Um, that's the joys of Amazon Prime. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely amazing. I haven't given a read yet, but I will get round to reading it very soon. There's the blurb if anyone is interested in that. But yeah, I've heard really good things on this, so my, my hopes are high. <laughs> so, there we go. So there we have it. That is my collection update for the month of May. Sorry I can't really fit into shot very well, um, but there is a lot more than they, I usually talk about. Um, but there we go, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please don't forget to um, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below. What's your favourite piece of merchandise here as well? And I would also really appreciate it if you could give this video, um, well, subscribe to my channel. That would be brilliant. Um, I think we're at almost 311 subscribers last time I checked. So, hey, let's push. Let's push. Let's keep on going. So, yeah, thanks, guys, for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next video, whenever that may be. Bye for now.